Mm -hmm. Ce rapport formule une série de recommandations importantes pour protéger nos démocraties et assurer la souveraineté des peuples européens. Euh, et je vais me joindre à... Qui est contre Qui s'abstient Qui est pour Qui est contre Qui s'abstient Ah, il est rejeté. This one, we have to vote. Euh, qui est pour 787. Et maintenant, nous allons procéder par roll call vote au vote final. Le vote est ouvert. Le vote est fermé. Et les résultats 27 pour, un contre et une abstention. Bravo à madame la rapporteure. Vote is important because uh, my report it puts uh, the the way strategic way how to resolve uh, and counter foreign interference into uh, democratic processes first in the European Union but also to the member states because in the current state of affairs when we are having such a speedy technological development including artificial in intelligence uh, hostile countries they have instruments to manipulate to interfere to change uh, political discourse, etc. And that's why uh, what is my concern personally, that the re recommendations which uh, were provided by the first, my first report, they are not really implemented. Under disinformation, there are two major bodies, which is one is money, and another one is technologies. And exactly the, in, in the area of money, I would say that the way how uh, this information and other disruptive actions are financed, hybrid information warfare, and those who do that to us, that they are subjects to the sanctions, that they do not go unpunished. Sanctions could be uh, reputational, and sanctions could be also financial, uh, blocking their access to, to their, um, they can be personal. And this is something where we still need to get to the, uh, let's say, united approach to that.